Ye heard that it was said, Thou shalt mindfully love thy neighbor, and hate thy enemy. But I, I am saying to you, Mindfully love your enemies, and pray for them that persecute you, that ye may be sons of your Father, the one in skies. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and the good, and sendeth rain on the just and the unjust. For if ye love them that love you, what reward are ye having? Do not even the publicans the same? And if ye salute your brothers only, what superior thing are ye doing? Do not even the nations the same? Ye therefore, ye shall be perfect, as your skyly father is perfect. Matai chapter 6 be ye taking heed, however, not to be effectuating your righteousness before the humans for to be seen by them. Else ye have no reward with your Father who is in the skies. When therefore thou be effectuating mercy giving, thou shouldst not trumpet before thee, as the pretenders do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of the humans. Amen, I am saying to you, they are fully receiving their reward. But of thy effectuating mercy giving, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand is effectuating, that thy mercy giving may be being in the secret, and thy father, the one seeing in the secret, shall recompense thee. And when ye pray, ye shall not be as the pretenders, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues, and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen by the humans. Amen, I am saying to you, they are fully receiving their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy inner chamber, and having shut thy door, pray to thy father who is in the secret, and thy father the one seeing in the secret shall recompense thee. And in praying, use not vain repetitions as the nations do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not therefore like them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father, the one in the skies, let thy name be consecrated. Let thy kingdom arrive. Let thy will become, as in sky, also upon earth. Our oncoming day's bread give thou to us today, and forgive thou our debts for us, as we also forgave our debtors. And bring thou not us into a trial, but retrieve thou us for thyself from the evil one. For if ye forgive the humans their trespasses, your skyly father will also forgive for you. But if ye forgive not the humans their trespasses, Neither will your father forgive your trespasses. Moreover, when ye be fasting, be ye not being as the pretenders of a sad countenance, for they are disfiguring their faces, that they may be seen by the humans to be fasting ones. Amen, I am saying to you, they are fully receiving their reward. But thou fasting, anoint thou thy head, 
and wash thou thy face, that thou not be seen by the humans to be a fasting one, but by thy father who is in the secret, and thy father, the one seeing in the secret, shall recompense thee. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth, where moth and rust consume, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in sky, where neither moth nor rust doth consume, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where thy treasure is, there will thy heart be also. The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore thy eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is the darkness! No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to one and despise the other. Ye are not being able to be serving as slave to God and to Marmona. Therefore I am saying to you, be not anxious for your soul, what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the soul more than the body, and the body than the raiment? Behold the birds of the sky, that they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, and your skyly father feedeth them, are not ye of much more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add one cubit to the measure of his life? And why are ye anxious concerning raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. Yet I am saying to you, that even Shalomo in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if the God doth so clothe the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith. Be not therefore anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the nations seek, for your skyly father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But be ye seeking first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Be not therefore anxious for the morrow, for the morrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient to the day is the evil thereof. Be ye judging not so that ye might not be judged. For with what judgment ye are judging, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye are measuring, it shall be measured to you. And why beholdest thou the twig that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the plank that is in thy own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me cast out the twig out of thy eye. And lo, the plank is in thy own eye. Thou pretender, cast out first the plank out of thy own eye. 
And then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the twig out of thy brother's eye.